This is the scary part. Yeah, I've just been, I don't know. <laughs> I've painted over stuff. I started last time. I didn't fit, and I've just gessoed a few. These two little ones. I don't know what I'm doing. I always say that, but I do know what I'm doing. It's in my head. Um, I want to paint nicer colours. <laughs> um, everywhere's a mess. This is sort of a, a reflection, I suppose. I've started my, um, <laughs> what do you call it, the process book. Okay, I'm going what my thinking is. I like uh, I like to have a uh, paper a paper trail. <laughs> you call it a paper trail? No. I like to have things things down on paper. I like to flick through and look back at something. I suppose you could call it is it tangible? Is that the right word? I don't know. Um. Yeah. So I need I need stuff to um look back on and reflect and see where I've gone, see where I want to go. I just I just love sketchbooks or something. There's something about them that's just like oh, it's just like I don't know. So <laughs> I've been I don't know, this is this is what I started to do in my my brain. <laughs> oh like well, I'm a few weeks in now and I should like have it sorted I'm just, just keep changing my my thought processes uh, I decided for this module I just want to paint something that's um happier I don't, I don't want to look back on the sad things I need to get past all that I think I painted it out last module with these paintings I'll like to stick them in so you can see <laughs> um yeah so I I just wanted to get all that gone and dusted and I think I did and there's a sort of I've I managed to paint get it all out of me and now it's time for me to move on and think of happier things in my work so I've been what really saved me after the incident I, mean, I was walking every day with my friend Matty who sadly died suddenly a few weeks ago which is like taking a bit of um I don't know I just got I just can't cope with it sometimes which I just can't believe that happened it's just like anyway and so I, what I started doing again is started walking places um discovering places and I've been sort of documenting it on my Instagram and Facebook and stuff but then I started to paint um memories of where I walked so these were the memories some of them the memories of where I got home I sort of tried to sketch them out like this like happy things and like nice I like this one it's just the, the feeling that I felt when I was here this is this was up in the North Yorkshire Moors it's just uh, I was just like uh. <laughs> Um, this one, I just like the colours. So I did all these, like trying to like portray the feelings, which I think I have done, which are really nice. Sorry for the, about the shaky camera, I'm just holding it in my hand. <laughs> it's so unprofessional, but um, I just want this to, like to be a real document of what i'm doing my thought process and what's happening so yeah <laughs> these are this is my other sketchbook that i want so that's what i started doing then i did um bigger ones um, let me just then i did one it's made. <laughs> i'm such a mess and i just you know you know me sketchy <laughs> I also did this one on canvas and at the same time I did this smaller one I did that one that you can see there <laughs> but you didn't look like that I just take I was like why oh, am I painting landscapes I'm not a landscape painter I like painting landscapes so don't get me wrong and I know I like doing like the abstract landscape thing I was like oh 
you know i don't i don't want to i don't want to paint landscapes i like painting in my like little quirky people and cats and you know but then i started even doing like because i was thinking oh we go somewhere and feel and i had that up and then this is a, and this is something i did whilst i took some um some soft pastels with me and i've fixed it now <laughs> and did some sketches whilst i was out and these these ones i don't know yet but it was cold and i didn't like it <laughs> and then i got back and then i started um doing these little like abstract things of feelings and some of the colors that have come out i, I don't like that one that was a, that was a gray day that i've been out for a walk in the morning so i always take my dog out for a walk and walking down to the castle and that and um it's just oh and these are like some sketches that i was doing uh, i was trying to get like feelings out and that bit and they came out all abstracty and that's how i start paintings i tend to like do like this abstract painting that's like the underneath and then I start seeing things and that's what I'm still going to work on I was trying to stay away from painting faces but um I'm thinking what's I'm on these walks what's like turned been a turning point for me from like no I'm, I'm not a landscape painter uh, although the landscape makes me happy I don't want to paint landscapes I don't want to go down that thing um uh, it's not my painting although <laughs> gosh it's hard i'm trying to get things out of my head into like sensible mean words that actually make sense <laughs> i'm not sure if it does but um what was i saying oh god i'm, I'm just like uh, really like distracted all the time where was i yeah i was talking about i was painting landscapes yes they make me happy walking out in nature makes me happy when i come back i love the colors the feeling how it is and then i was thinking but painting them does not make me happy i paint them and i think yeah okay they look nice but it there's, there's something missing there's that sense of i haven't got out what's inside me properly which is something that I want to do and then these these were like yeah getting, getting all this stuff out onto these little paintings and that. I love the colors in some of them and the, the textures I got but I'm like no I don't want to do it abstract but this is how I start a painting and then it progresses and something that I find that I really love when I'm walking is the nature looking at nature all the birds and the animals and the flowers and the trees so i'm going <laughs> I, I sort of got in my head that's what makes me the happiest and the and thing that nailed it on the head for me the other day it was i was walking cyril my dog down to the castle this, these colors are like happy colors but this is the day that i walked cyril down to the castle and I, there's this dog coming the other way with his owner and it, I think it was a Labrador and it had it's like Teddy in its mouth so it brought it along on its walk with him he's took his little toy and uh, my heart just filled up I was just like oh that's so lovely and I was like right damn damn it you know <laughs> stop I'm going with me who I am this, this is not not me this is what I do yeah I go for walks and this is what I see and this is what I feel but it's not, I thought, I was just like, I want to paint animals, I want to paint dogs, I want to paint happy things, I want to paint nature, I want to paint wildlife, so, but I want to do it in my way, I want to do it like the, like the quirky things I see in things like that dog with his teddy bear and things like that, and the other day we were driving up for a walk in the Yorkshire Moors yesterday, uh, not yesterday, was it the day before yesterday, yeah, and um i put pictures that we went to this mine and we walked around and it was just lovely stunning stunning i could like paint loads of landscapes and things but what i what filled my heart more than anything was seeing these curlews and they flew over and i just think they're just such quirky little birds so i'm going to be painting birds and 
and then we saw some lambs they were like jumping about and it was so beautiful then we saw this kite flying and I was just like oh. and then we saw rabbits and like the usual things you see and like, like loads of black grouse and I was just like oh. that's I just I like animals <laughs> and, and I love the, the heather and everything sort of coming back to life it's just starting to and it's just that's what fills me with joy so that's what I'm painting and I feel like that's what's missing in my work at the moment is joy I've been painting these miserable dark depressing things and like sometimes it's a bit quirky I try and always bring a bit of humor into my work but I'm I'm um, <laughs> I'm trying 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 this book I did and I keep adding bits to it and um this is sort of um something that um I'm steering towards this is like in homage to um I forgot his name Johnny Hannah <laughs> and then I've done these like things like this this is this is happy this book makes me happy <laughs> it's got some sad things in it because I, another thing I'm like thinking about is can you have happiness without sadness so yeah anyway this is like a, now I'm doing a flick through this is my um these were like saddish things and this was a sketch in my sketchbook that I did for my final for the module my last module and I took this figure and this figure because this was like something that's like important to me I won't go into the details <laughs> And I like mushrooms, and I like fungi and butterflies, and as you can see. So I'm going to focus on these sort of things. <clears throat> but I'll flick you through here. That's me, me walking Cyril through the trees. This was painted when it was autumn. It was really lovely. And these were the trees that were the trees, the colours that came to me. And so I did that. These are some just some quirky animals, like dogs I see, <laughs> and then little animals and it's like a rabbit <laughs> like that one. that's a mad rabbit it's a man riding a horse i don't see crocodiles and things but i must have seen them somewhere and thought they were quite nice so i sketched them it's another rabbit <clears throat> that's like a duck duck crocodile thing i don't know anyway yeah and then there's these ones i love this picture of this man with his cats and that I think it's nice. and then I started drawing some cats which I, I just I like them I like this paw look paw I like <laughs> so these might turn up in my newer paintings this one I quite like him <laughs> and here's some more Small little figures and things I like this horse and like the, the, this is getting serious. Cackle, like you know. And, and there's look at, just look at his face. And then, I don't know if you can see. It's just like black on black. <laughs> I like that. I don't, don't like something. And this is like <laughs> up in the um. There's like this little patch where I dry, drive over near me, and there's this little patch of um pigs patch of pigs which put a patch of pigs there's a little patch of forest with some pigs in <laughs> and i don't know what kind of pigs they are but they all come up to the fence like snorting it's like but their teeth their teeth are just like really gnarly and really funny and all over the place and they're just like oh, i've got some photos somewhere i'll try and find them <laughs> they, they were just, i just love them um uh, it's like this beautiful fat piggy and I just like these teeth, nasty gnarly teeth, so that's from that. And then these were just, I was drawing, doing something, I don't know, I think I was drawing with my granddaughter or something, and she was telling me what to paint, so there was a tiger and a leopard. And then there's some more strange people getting stuff out. <laughs> Always the same, we never learn, yeah. That was like, I forget what that was all about, but yeah, obviously I'm getting things out of my head. <laughs> I quite like this red person with the pink nipples 
um, yeah, oh, I like this dog, and, that, um, and then there's a few worried people down there, so I'm not sure what I was feeling that day. Um, here's, I was dra drawing figures bending over, trying to, anyway, so, and I quite like the, like, faces that aren't finished, like half the face, because your brain sort of makes up the other, so you can tell what it is anyway, sort of leaving things out. And then I was putting more faces and things, I like this head here. Like his orange cheeks. I think I was using those Conti pencils, and then I think that um, feels sticky, so I think it's oil pastel or something. So I was just drawing figures and some more figures like bending over, and some more things. And then there's just some faces. Is it there? That looks like Moira Hindi, <laughs> but it's not, it's Wilma McCann. So like, yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, faces I pull out and keep. There's a scrap paper, and this is like a weird thing. I love this dog here. He's just like, I love that this is collage stuck in, and then I just saw a dog, so I drew the dog over it. And um, this is just, I don't know what this is. <laughs> There's some more bits more of collage stuck on. And then that was just a sketch of the table and my son. And then another person like bending over. Oh, it's after the day after the party. <laughs> I think my son had had a party and then, um, I don't know, <laughs> it's just weird. And, yeah, and then uh, here's some like faces and some crazy animals this i really like this page that's why it's stuck stuck here stick stuck a sticker stick stuck a sticker stuck a <laughs> stick a stuck a in there because <laughs> this is like the feeling i want to get back like not the funny like stuff not the miserable and then um, here's some oh, more faces more faces that's like two faces but it's one face Anyway, anyway, yeah, and then that's I like this. So I did this one a while ago. Sometimes I start backwards. I'm like, I come back to sketchbooks and fill the pages up. I've got like loads of sketchbooks with like pages or <laughs> half done and not done and stuff. So it's fun. This is I don't know. I don't like. I was think, trying different colours. I didn't like the green and the pink, but I, I like green and pink together. These colours are nicer. <laughs> And yeah, stuck a, st stuck a sticker, sticker, <laughs> stuck a sticker. Yeah, to remind me of this dog. Look how happy he is. This is like this is like that happy dog I saw when I came back and like sketched it. And um, that was his owner. <laughs> yeah, he did. I think he was. This guy was um, talking a lot. So that's why he's got this in his mouth, so yeah. And then that's another one. I think I did this with my <laughs> granddaughter and like the tail turned into a snake. So, I don't know. And then here's some weird faces. Sometimes I see faces, sometimes it's animals. But I'm trying to bring out the happy animals. This is, I don't know, it's not finished. It's just getting stuff out. And here's some nice little animal things I can see. I've seen this weird dog thing. Yeah, another weird animal, weird face. And these are some <laughs> pictures I did with my granddaughter. And here's some dogs. I like these dogs. <laughs> this is what I did with my granddaughter and my niece. A naked man <laughs> with boobs <laughs> riding riding a giraffe and it's pooping. They found that very funny. <laughs> then we did a tight a lion. <laughs> They're helping me colour it in and stuff. And yeah, so that's the end. Anyway, yeah, God blimey. This video has gone on for like 20 minutes and it was just supposed to be a quick thing about what I'm doing, where I'm going and yeah, so today, that's, I'm doing this, I'm just like, 
happy thoughts going on to there. So take care. Do you, do you want to see? I might come come say bye quickly. <laughs> I've just got to flick the camera around. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's sort of a brain dump for what I want to do and where I want to go. And um, because I've been so stuck, but I think, I think I've got everything out of my head. And uh, sorry, I've not long woken up. And you know how you think you're, you're lying, well, what I do, I lie in bed and all these thoughts are in my head. And then I was, I was just like, right, I've got to get up, I've got to paint, I've got to come down and just, I know what I'm doing now, I'm sorted, this, this is happening. So yeah, so yeah, <laughs> stay tuned or not, bye. <laughs>